So I just had an amazing reading with Aiden Chase, who is Hollywood's healer and intuitive, not just a psychic, okay? This guy, uh -huh. I mean, you you read people, you read yeah. energy. I read you, energy, yeah. Every, you have people come into the room. Yeah, we had, you had your grandma My come grandma today, came. Which is really awesome, yeah. And it's not just about what happened in the past. The point is what's happening in the future, but using the past as tools. Yeah, and tuning into the now, you know, our intuitions about the now, what's going on right now, and really looking energetically what's happening now that can propel us and give us the wisdom we need out of our soul to make all those beautiful wishes and dreams we have come true. So when it comes to relationships, we know with me, we saw that I need to, I need a little bit more 50-50. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I've been making a lot of deposits and maybe not getting as many emotional yeah. withdrawals. Uh -huh. And it's being open to receiving and allowing that receiving. Right? I think it's, it's, I mean, it, you know, my, my work, I'm, it's always me on display, but in relationships, I'm always putting the other person on a pedestal. Uh -huh. So I'm there as like, as a cheerleader to yeah. say, yay, I'm here for you. But sometimes I need them to cheerlead, I think, too. Which is a beautiful thing to cheer on, but you need the cheering, too. And I yeah. think that was a realization today that it's time to um, really be uh, being open to allowing people to cheer you on. Which is a beautiful thing and that you totally deserve it and always, we all do, but you know, with the beautiful things you do for the world and for yourself and with your books, it's time for you to get a little pep Thanks. up. Thanks. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so for everyone else, yeah, I think a lot of us are restricting ourselves in relationships. Absolutely. I think that's the number one thing when people come for readings with me is there's some sort of re relationship imbalance. So what is it that they can do? Are they are they not getting what they want because they're not putting it out there? Are they looking for the wrong thing? Are I think they... it's a little both. I think it's about balance and harmony and having really good 50-50 relationships where each person gives and receives love equally. And sometimes that can become imbalanced because of, you know, someone has a sickness or something, which I think is normal, but sometimes people get in habit patterns of giving too much and then the other person feels they don't have to give or the reverse, which is really interesting. What about when you're looking for a guy? Uh -huh. And you know, I, I have so many girlfriends, I can't find the right guy. Right. Well, why? Well, I say you put out wishy-washy, you get wishy-washy back. A lot of times people don't have specific um, ideas of what they're looking for. And it's not just, you know, he has this great job or he looks like this. It's how do I feel when I'm with him? What at attributes or characteristics that he have that are fun that we get to be together? I think those are missing. A lot of times, you know, when we're not specific, we don't get specific back. The universe loves, guides and angels love to bring specific things to us. And so the more specific we are, the better. I like to call it the pro list, like a pro and con list, but it's the pro list and also the deal breaker list of what are the deal breakers that are not okay with you. And I think that when you meet somebody and you notice that there's something that's a negative or a deal breaker and sometimes you think, I can fix that or maybe it'll get better, usually that's not the case. Stop being a fixer. Yeah. It's about, <laughs> we can, you know, the best thing we can do is heal ourselves and be the inspiration for other people to want to bet better themselves or be their better selves, but we can't fix or change people. So actually write it down. Write a list. Write a and list. And then think about it and put it yeah. out there. And how does it make you feel? What feeling do you want to have with your with that person? It's like, I feel warm. I feel nurtured. I feel hugged. Safe. I feel safe. All those words. And I think sometimes we forget that when we're going out in the world and we're looking at the visual or we're looking at the resume, which is important too. Why not put that on there? There's nothing wrong with that. It's why not also add, how does it make us feel so we can feel feel really amazing about our relationship and attract that person that we're really looking for versus just a resume. Now, what about the core values? Like this person is about trust and Absolutely. about family Include and about, all of that. you know, not cheating. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people get into relationships and they don't know, oh, he didn't want to have kids and I do. It's about establishing a core value all those that's things. Essential to know. And it's quite simple. I mean, it's, it really is quite simple. It's just defining what you want, beaming it out from your heart beaming out, telling people what you're looking for, and then allowing it to come. And then when it comes, is recognizing the good guy versus the guy with the deal breaker list. Right. Versus the guy who our old habits are going to yes. because they are, you know, tall, dark, and handsome, exactly. or loaded, but or They could be whatever. tall, dark, and handsome, and loaded. Why not? The and universe says that's okay. And they make you feel good, and they have the core values. But relationships are really about love and feeling really good in a relationship, and then being able to give that same love back to somebody else. 
So that's the root core of it, whether we have a billion dollars or not. Because a lot of the billionaires that I know that come see me... Are really great guys. Well, they're really great guys, but sometimes they're not good in love because they're not projecting what they really want. They're projecting their money that, that makes them worth something right. worthy versus really they're putting They're leading their, with the money as opposed yeah. to leading with, with their, their heart. heart. Or, yeah. Okay, so what they need to do, what you need to do is do a list. One yes. list is emotion. Yes. How does it make me feel? The pro list. Everything you're looking for in a relationship that is your wildest dream relationship. Think big. Why can't you have the exact person you're looking for? In all ways, mind, body, and spirit. Think Why big. Not? You're right. Think bigger. Yeah. Stop thinking, well, maybe I'll put myself in this box. It's not necessary. that's what I can get. Because if you put yourself in a box, you're going, that's, that's what, what you're, you're going to get. get. So now, we might as well think big. You said something interesting about the guides. Yes. And so how we don't know how to talk to guides yeah. because we're just not familiar with right. that. So the parking space. I thought ah, that was a very a interesting story. story. Well, we all have spirit guides around us. We have angels around us all the time. But because of the free will barrier, they're not fully able to help us unless we ask for their help. That's free will. So, but if we ask for what we're looking for or something we need, they will do everything they can to put that person in front of you, to put that idea in front of you, to put that solution in front of you, or to, you know, help a business deal. They are able to do that. They're able to move time and space. They'll be able to be anywhere and everywhere at once. So it's from, I need to find a quarter in this chair to pay for the parking meter outside. Help me find it or have it materialize. It could be that too. To help me with this billion dollar deal that I need to structure, that I need to, I have this great idea and I need to get the people to come, I need to get the financing involved, they will literally put people right in front of you as you're at Starbucks that literally will look at you and say, hey, are you, what, is, and they'll, you start trying to help conversation. you. And then being able to receive that help. So for parking, I call it parking karma. Yes. That's what I call it. But I say getting a parking place. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great story about that is if you need a parking place and say you're going to the mall, the busy mall on a Saturday at noon and you're going to expect that you won't find a parking place because it's busy, you probably won't find a parking place. You're actually putting that energy out. What you put out, you receive back. So if you can hold this and you say, guides and angels, we all have guides. You had four guides around yes. you. You say, guides and angels. I need a parking place. And maybe say the exact place you are. Maybe you're going to Macy's. But don't just say I need a parking place eventually because they'll give it to you in two weeks. Yeah, because guides and angels haven't necessarily been human. So they don't necessarily know our experience. So the more specific we can be of what we're looking for, uh, the more we'll get back. I need a parking space now. I need a parking space. Right so here. Say, I want to go to Macy's <laughs> to buy underwear, and I need this parking place now at this mall. Please and thank you. We always put gratitude. And watch how someone will back out just as you need to pull in. Because they'll probably go through the mall, and they will look someone who maybe left their iron on, whisper in their ear. We've all had that experience, like my iron's on. And they will race oh, out. your stove. I didn't turn yeah, the stove exactly. off. exactly. And I they will the race time. out and back out just as you need to pull in. For me, it happens nine out of ten times. If I'm being negative or I'm in a bad mood, it's not going to happen. But if you stay in a heart open space, you ask for assistance, watch nine out of ten times. That parking place is going to show up and you'll be exactly where you need it to And be. you know what? That actually makes me think of the one thing that I say all the time. If you want something, ask for it. Exactly. The worst thing that can happen is they they'll say, say no. no. Exactly. And, oh, wow. Oh, that's heartbreaking. But, I mean, <laughs> but people naturally want to help. And you're asking. You're, you're just asking. asking your guides. Exactly. That's who you're asking. Exactly. And the same goes for relationships. The same yeah. thing. You, I you want ask a guy for what you're looking like for. You ask your guides for that relationship. And tell people what you're looking for. Tell other people. That's yeah. great because other people might be able yeah. to set you up with the exact right guy. Exactly. If they don't know what you need, how can they help? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. It was you. so great having a session with you. Oh my, you have no idea. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Cool.